on this Epiphany Sunday, let us pray. Remember today the journey of the wise men, how inspired by what they took to be a sign, they set off in search of a newborn king, a king who would change not simply their lives, nor merely the life of his people, but the life of the world. We pray for all those who seek today, all those who are looking for a sense of purpose in their lives, all those who are searching for spiritual fulfilment, all those who long to find you for themselves. Help them to keep looking, even when the journey is demanding and no end seems in sight. To keep believing, even when others seem oblivious to their quest or scornful of it. To keep on trusting, even when those who look to our guidance seem as confused and as lost as they are. We ask you, Lord, to come now and may your light shine in the darkness. Keeping our hearts and our minds open, let us pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to bring peace to our world. We pray for all those who are searching for peace and for those whose lives are threatened by violence or warfare. And we pray that people will realise that we have more in common with our neighbours than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace to the leaders of the Christian church and all religions, so that their words may provide us with guidance and spirituality. And we ask you to open up our ears, our minds and our hearts, that we may listen to those words, and in doing so, might show to others empathy, compassion and kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to look down in our troubled world and give direction and understanding to political leaders of all nations and those who have influence among us. Where there is disagreement in our world, Lord, we ask you to lead people to choose reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today, Lord, for help for all those who are suffering from the effects of hurricanes, storms, earthquakes, floods, droughts or fires. And we also ask you, Lord, to comfort who are those, all those who have been affected by this year's hurricane season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of those in our community and all those known to us who are ill or who are suffering, either from the coronavirus or other illnesses, and all those health care providers who devote so much of time of their time to care for them. We also, Lord, pray for all those who are burdened right now with difficulties in their lives, for those seeking solutions to problems in their lives, and for all those who are burdened with anxieties or economic hardship at this time. We also pray for all those people who on this day have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you to hold in your hands all those who have recently departed, and those lost loved ones have an anniversary or birthday at this time. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep in our own hearts. all these silent prayers let us pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins God is faithful and just and will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness let us therefore confess our sins most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will 
and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, pardon and deliver us from our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit, we were baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And I invite you to offer the sign of peace to those who might be with you this morning in your home, your hotel room, on a boat. Um, please offer a sign of peace and New Year's greetings. <clears throat> 